Hello YouTube. Some time ago I started a project that I wanted to make a limited slip differential for my Mercedes S211 E-Class because the commercial ones are so ridiculously expensive for an old car like mine. So I took apart one spare differential that I had and got some Volvo Eaton locker parts mainly the discs you see here I used the Volvo discs from the Eaton in here there's three frictions and two intermediate discs and then there's I don't know if you can see this it's too dark maybe then there's three friction discs in the other side as well I bought the housing for the discs, you can see from the back side, barely, it's very hard to see, but there's, there's four holes that the friction discs couplings attach to so they don't spin with the spider gears. I used the original spider gears from the Mercedes. But I took one of the Volvo gears and used it as a template and made a CAD program using this. And I milled the original gears so that they fit the disc spline and they can be used. The Eaton gears were just a little different from the Mercedes gears and I couldn't use them. So. And then there's these two plates in the middle. It's similar to the, I don't know, phantom grip or something. But this is made of hardened 4140 steel. And I harden, harden it so it won't wear out when it's contacting the gears. There's oil grooves between the gears and the clamping plates. So it, it just gives a preload for the disc stacks and it should work like a normal posi traction locker. I don't know because I haven't tested it yet. Don't have the time to put this into the car. Maybe during the summer so I can test it late in the summer when I have more time but yeah there's four springs in the center stack something like 410 newtons of force pu pushing against the disc stacks so it could should keep a pretty nice locking action when needed but you can use a pry bar to rotate the gears so it should also mean that you can turn into a tight corner without the inside wheel squeaking and trying to turn at the same speed as the one going outside of the corner but yeah this is something i have been doing during the winter and now it's starting to get done I don't know if the main case holds when I have drilled it from two sides on this side and the other side from down there. Hope you can see it. I don't know. So it weakened the structure somewhat, but I don't think it's it's that much. But we'll see when I get it installed and get it some testing done maybe some sideways action a little drifting with the mercedes nothing too dramatic because this is just to aid at the winter winter time but if you have some questions put them down to, down below and i'll answer if i can and when i notice the questions take care and have a nice day
Bye.